Ladies and gents, at this stage in our player profiles, we're just hitting a lot of players that I've never heard of before. Uh, but in scouting some of these on my own, in my own saves, uh, or Facebook groups, or even some other websites, just kind of taking a look at who has high potential and who haven't I covered. Well, this is another one that came up in the list. Looks pretty nice. Figured, yeah, let's check them out. Piero, is it Hincapié? I mean, this is he's an Ecuadorian 20-year-old, so the accent on the E, you kind of want to pronounce it at the, the major part. Uh, but Hincapié? I don't know. But contracted right now to Bayer Leverkusen, 34 million, 102 million, 47.5K per week. So yeah, money's going to be the problem right now. His stats look, I mean, for a 20-year-old, again, they look good. Uh, they don't look phenomenal. So 34 is kind of on the higher end of what I would pay. 102, definitely not. But the reason he's so expensive, he's got a negative 8.5 potential. So he is definitely up there, can definitely grow to be an absolute beast if nurtured properly like usual. What happens in this save? I didn't do any nurturing, so I have no idea. But you can see dribbling, first touch. Uh, I mean, you got a lot of some 12s, you got a lot of 13s, passing technique, center back you want, tackling a 14 is pretty good, marking a 14 is pretty good. Uh, I would love to see those go up to be an upper echelon, upper table type of player, but we'll have to see. Heading of 13, so he can get up there, uh, passing of 13 is nice, flair, leadership off the ball, 10s and 9s, not the greatest, uh, but he can hopefully bring it up, or he's just not going to be a leader in your squad, and he's going to sit back and hopefully listen to the others. But the one thing I'm noticing, 20 years old, he already has 24 caps and a goal. I mean, internationally, he's on fire. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a minute. But 24 caps at 20 years old, I can only imagine where he's going to end his career. It's got to be above 100, no question. Milestone-wise, as a baseline, you can see he's made his senior club debut. Copa Movistar Lo Libertadores sub-20 winners. First international cap, first international goal, scored his senior club for Bayer Leverkusen. So he's got a lot on, I guess, the club and country side. Nothing personal yet, but in the next 10 years, let's see how he actually does. Well, at the tail end of the 2033 season, the Ecuadorian is 31 years old, 115 caps. Yep, definitely what I thought. Definitely above 100. Uh, well above. He's still got some years left to go. He did move to Bayern Munich after a little while. Uh, he's making 220K per week as a regular starter. Not for sale. You can see some of his numbers have gone up. Acceleration to 15. Pace of 15, which is nice. Tackling has only gone up to 15. Technique to 14. Passing and marking of 15 is heading as well. Uh, I would have liked to have seen those a little bit higher, but I think I'm a little picky. I think I'm just being picky, and I want to see more greens, uh, especially for someone who's a regular starter at Bayern Munich. But overall, I mean, he seems to be doing a fantastic job. 13 in the Champions League, 705 average rating, 22 plus 1 in Bundesliga, uh, 3 goals, 724, 5 for the DFB Pokal, 762. So, I mean, he's still having a fantastic career, no doubt about it. Career stats, as you can see, he started out at Independiente de Valle, moved to Talleres. I, I'm assuming that's in the Primera Division in Argentina. Okay. Uh, to, he moved there for 1.2 million, moved to Bayer Leverkusen in 2021-22 for six and a half. Uh, and then from that point on, his only season that hasn't been great has been that first full season. Well, actually the second full season, I guess, 22-23, but everything else is 7-0 and above. Moved to Bayern Munich for $46 million. Uh, loyalty has, I mean, it's been okay. Moved on to Germany, stayed in Germany. But 7 2 4, 23 appearances. So maybe there's some injuries. Maybe he's just down in the pecking order, even though it says regular starter. That's his contract, though, not how the coach actually sees him. But 7 3 0, 7 3 1. He's had a fantastic career so far. I keep saying that, but it's true. Milestone-wise, he's only got one sort of personal accolade to his list, to his name. It's the Copa America Best Young Player, third place. Unfortunately, only the bronze. 
But seasonal best 11s all throughout. Moved to Bayern Munich, DFB Pokal winners, Bundesliga champions. I mean, you get nothing, sadly, from Bayer Leverkusen. But the moment you move to Bayern, yeah, you get everything several times over again. Uh, yeah, I mean, internationally, it named a seasonal best 11. So Bayern Munich is a place to go if you want if you want cups and you want trophies. Unfortunately, the one I'm not seeing are any European. So sadly, they still have not won any European championships or anything like that. Injuries. Wow, there's really not a lot here. You do get occasional moderates, mostly slights. One major broken ribs out for five weeks. Only five weeks. Wow. Uh, but a moderate for three weeks, another for three weeks. So uh, it doesn't seem like he's getting all that injured. I mean, as time goes on, I'm sure there's going to be a couple more added to here before he retires. But overall injury proneness doesn't look like it's all that bad. Oh, I did not notice this. He retired from international soccer on 2032. Uh, and why is it soccer? Why is it saying soccer here instead of football? I don't understand that. But... So he is no longer, he's not going to get any more caps internationally, but 115 caps and six goals is a pretty nice return for the Ecuadorian side. Tactically, center back for 41 club appearances, three goals, two assists. Left back is a fullback, one for club and 660. Not, eh, I mean, definitely fullback is not the greatest there, but center back option is a fantastic side right there. 41 club appearances, 723. But with all of that said, now let's see when he retires. So he's actually made it all the way to the 2039 season, 37 years old. Right now, contracted to PSG. Uh, as he's a squad player, 1.1 to 3.4 million, so he's still up there. Tackling has gone up to 16, technique of 14, passing and marking of 15. So some of his numbers have gone up. His physicals have dropped dramatically. I mean, I guess 12 to 10 or so, thereabouts. But still, plans to retire at the end of the season, 6-17, 2039. Uh, PSG still seven Champions League appearances, seven two nil. Uh, League One Conferama, eighteen plus one, seven thirteen. So he's still doing a pretty good job. He actually probably could have played another season or two. Uh, we'll take a look at injuries, but he's only a squad player. But still, Coupe de France, one plus one, seven two over. Greens everywhere you look, seven eight five, non competitive. Wow. But I mean, overall, he's still looking not too bad. As you can see, after a couple of seasons at Bayern Munich, he did make his way for $9.25 million to PSG uh, for the last three seasons. Last two have done very well. 6 9 9 nothing to shake a stick at, but still, 24 appearances, one assist. I, I think he's had a fantastic career. And again, he probably still could go for another year or two. I think he just wants to bow out uh, at, at really, all, not quite the top of his game, but fairly close. So milestone-wise, you could see still no European Champions Cup, but uh, but FIFA Club World Cup winners with Bayern. So another at least one more to his name. But you can see then bought by PSG for 7.25, rising to 9.25. Then Trophée de Champion winners, Ligue 1 Conferama champions. So uh, Coupe de France winners. He's he's got a whole bunch more. Figured let's change sceneries, let's go to another country and just try for some more trophies. But he's really done it. I'm actually amazed. I like, I mean, he does have a couple more injuries, not a whole lot. Some slights, two moderates out for two and three weeks apiece. Uh, but I mean, overall, not injury prone whatsoever, really, for the most part. I looked at his tactics and pretty much the same as Byron. He was mainly used as a center back with one time as a fullback on the left. Uh, but overall, I mean, he's done fairly well. I highly suggest scouting this kid as usual. Negative 8.5 potential. He's really lived up to a lot of that. Uh, I mean, still, technicals could have gotten a little bit better a little quicker, but for the, I mean, still, he's gone to Bayern Munich and excelled. He's gone to PSG in his later stage of his career and still excelled. So, yeah, I mean, he, the sky's the limit for this kid. I would love to see what he's done for your club. But that is it for Piero Incapie. Uh, I am Sefi Nefram for the Football Manager blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy. <laughs>